Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm reviewing Leicester City's 2019-20 summer transfer window. So yeah guys, the 2019-20 summer transfer window has finally ended and today I'm reviewing all of Leicester City's business throughout the the incomings and the outgoings and it's going to be really transfer window and give my thoughts on how I thought the transfer window went this year under Brendan Rodgers. Before we get into today's video guys, make sure you have a big thumbs up down below on today's video. That is the best thing you can do to help support the channel. So you know, make sure you drop a like on today's video. It does help out quite a lot. Make sure you subscribe to and see my face on the screen before the freshest Leicester City content on YouTube. Guys, make sure you do subscribe and make sure you tap the bell right next to that subscribe button so you never miss any future videos on the channel. My social medias will be down there, so go give my Instagram and Snapchat follow. But yeah, let's get into today's video. So yeah guys, the summer transfer window is over and I think it's been a pretty successful one to be honest. Obviously we have lost Harry Maguire, which is a bit of a shame to be honest, but we also lost some youngsters and loaned some youngsters out. But obviously we have made the four signings of Yosi Perez, James Justin, Yuri Tiedemans and recently on deadline day, Dennis Pratt. Pratt, Pratt, I don't know how to say that guys name, it's going to be very annoying. But yeah, we have signed Dennis Pratt on transfer deadline day, which is a good signing as well. So you guys, first of all, I'm going to be talking about the new signings which arrived in this transfer window. Obviously, I'm not going to go too much in depth into them as I've already made videos on the Yosi Paris and Euro Tiedemann signings. So I'll be links to those videos in the description if you want to watch more like in depth about each player individually. So yeah, if you want to give that a watch, feel free to link links in the description, guys. And I don't want this video to see over 20 minutes like every video normally does at the moment. So guys, the first signing which we did make this transfer window was James Justin from Luton Town. Obviously a backup right back as Danny Simpson has left the club and he's looked very good in pre-season to be honest. A young lad, one for the future. It's a good signing. We got him for fairly cheap as well. Lots of other Premier League teams are interested in the youngsters. So yeah, good bit of business there by Brendan Rodgers. Very good signing. Like him look at him so far. I don't think he's going to be challenging Ricardo this season, but maybe the next one. Hoping that Ricardo Pereira does stay and he's got interest from Juventus. But yeah, I think James Justin is one for the future. Very good signing and a good start to the transfer window. So guys, our second summer transfer signing was Ayosi Perez from Newcastle United. If you want to watch a more in-detail video on Ayosi Perez, I'll be in the description. But yeah, this one came out of the blue, to be honest. Good business by Leicester. We did get him for 30 million, which is quite a lot. But, you know, you've got to pay a lot of money for players these days. Obviously, we have got the money from Harry Maguire to like pay that off, kind of, you know, 80 million for Maguire, 30 million for Perez. I think that's a good deal when you think of it like that. But it is a lot of money for a very good player, to be honest. He's very versatile as well. Say Jamie Vardy gets injured against Wolves, he can do a job up front. I know we've got Ian Aksho, but that is Ian Aksho. But yeah, very good signing for Leicester City. I'm excited to see how he's doing. He scored two goals in pre-season, I do believe. He scored one against Atalanta, which he took very well as well. And yeah, he's a, he's a very exciting signing. I'm looking forward to see how he can do for the Premier League season under Brendan Rodgers. So you guys, our third summer signing was the main man, Yuri Tillemans, for a record transfer fee. It's around 40 million. And yeah, you all know who Yuri Tillemans is. I did make a video on Yuri Tillemans, so if you want to watch a more in detail video, there'll be a link in the description, just like AUZ Paris. But yeah, we all know you about Yuri Tillemans. Obviously, he was on loan for his last season from Monaco. 40 million is quite a lot, but like I said earlier, if, eight, if Harry Maguire's worth 80 million, Yuri Tillemans is definitely worth 40 million at least. Very good player, knows the players, fits straight into the squad under Brendan Rodgers. Obviously, he's had interest from other clubs like Arsenal, in like London as well, have, probably having higher wages, but he did choose Leicester, which shows how good Leicester City are to players with the ambition shed under Brendan Rodgers. But yeah, very good signing from Leicester City. We needed to get Yuri Tillemans done because he was very good at the back end of last season on loan from Monaco on the Brandon Rogers. But yeah, John Rudkin to be honest, good signing there. Thank you for getting that done because you know I don't I don't know what we would do without Yuri Tillemans in midfield this season. So you guys our final summer transfer signing did come on deadline day and it is Danny Spryer from Sampdoria. I'm going to butcher this guy's name quite a lot, so I'm just going to go with Dennis Pryor for the sake of this video. But yeah, it's a very good signing, to be honest. I don't know why I've got another midfielder, even though we've already signed Tiedemann's this transfer window. We've got Madison, we've got Adili, and we've got Xiaoji. But I guess it does keep people on their toes, fighting for spaces in a team which gets the best of the ability out of each player. So that's good, to be honest. Maybe Brendan Rodgers is thinking of a cup run and maybe planning for Europe next season, getting a bit more squad depth in the midfield role. He does know Euro Tiedemann's from Andalek, so maybe they can get a midfield partnership going. Maybe we could switch to diamond formation with Madison at the tip, them two sitting in a ditty at the back. That could work very well, obviously no wingers, but yeah, we'll see what Brendan Rodgers does to fit Daniel Pryor into the team. I don't think he'll walk straight into the team yet, but yeah, it's a very good signing to be honest, and they only got him for 18 to 90 million, it's believed, something like that. And Sampdoria did want about 30 million for Dennis Pryor, so yeah, very good deal for Leicester City, and yeah, looking forward to see what he can do in Leicester City, in the in that midfield, obviously next to Madison and Tina, yeah, very excited to see what he can do. 
So obviously we have brought in a lot of good players this transfer window, but my only regrets really that we could have got a striker, maybe a winger and a, and a centre-back to replace Harry Maguire. I guess we've got the striker and the winger with Yosef Perez as he's very versatile. We could have done with a centre-back in my opinion. I know we have got Su Yung Chu, Benkovic and Wes Morgan, but I think we could have done with James Tarkovsky or Louis Dill. But maybe we'll sign one of them in January if things turn bad. But yeah, we've got Johnny Evans in defence. Maybe he'll line up with Su Yung Chu, Benkovic. Or Wes Morgan even. So yeah, we've got a lot of defensive options still. But yeah, I would have liked to see maybe a striker or a centre-back come into the club just to get me more squad depth. I know we've got Ian Atchev, but as I say, that's Ian Atchev. But yeah, to be honest, it's been a good transfer window. We could have done more, but yeah, it's been a, it hasn't been a bad transfer window at all. So yeah, thumbs up to John, John Rookin for this summer transfer window. So yeah guys, now I'm going to be talking about the outgoings, the players who have left Leicester City this summer transfer window. Obviously the main man is Harry Maguire who has left for Manchester United for £80 million. Pounds. I do believe that Callum Elder has left for Hall City for an undisclosed fee. They've also learned some youngsters out, but I'm not too bothered about that as they're going to be coming back. Just get experience under the belts. But yeah, the main thing is Harry Maguire leaving to Manchester United for £80 million. Pounds. 80 million is quite a lot of money, which hopefully we can reinvest. Obviously, we haven't got a centre back. We do have a bit of a gap in our defence, but we have got Sue, Jude, Benkovic, and Wes Morgan to slot in next to Johnny Evans. As I said, hopefully, we can reinvest that money into a better centre back in January. Maybe Lewis Dunk or James Sarkowski, or maybe someone else who we don't know about yet. But to be honest, I hope Harry does well at Manchester United. I'm not as disappointed as when Angola Kante and Rio Mares left, but you know. It is a bit of a gap in our defence. Hopefully we can get that sorted in January. But you never know, Benkovic and Soon Chu might do well. Even Wes Morgan, you know, never know. Big Wes could do well in defence for this season next to Johnny Evans. But yeah, I hope Harry does well at United. I hope he doesn't score against us when we play them in September. But yeah, to be honest, that's the only real one. Obviously, Callum Elder, the young left back, has been going out loan for the last couple of seasons. I think the best thing was him to get a permanent move to somewhere so he knew what he was doing in his career. And hopefully he can improve as well. Seen a little bit of him in pre season, but you know, he's probably not Premier League standards. So, yeah, hopefully, Callum does well at Hall City Eagles. But there, yeah, that's been all the outgoings for Leicester City this summer transfer window. I just want to quickly mention that we can also sell players like Islam Slomani, the dead one in our squad, to some other European teams. Obviously, we can't buy any players, but we can sell them to French League, Spanish League, Portuguese League. So, maybe players like Slomani, Matty James, Andy King, maybe. Could be going, could be offloaded from one of those clubs if they want to go there. But yeah, that's the only real players which can leave Leicester City now. But guys, that is going to put a wrap on today's video. I hope you did enjoy today's transfer review. Let me know if you want to see another one in the January transfer window if we make any business. And hopefully, we do buy a centre back by then. But you never know, guys. Our first league game is on Sunday. I'm going to be attending, so the match day vlog will be out for Sunday. I'm also going to be doing a match preview, which should be out the day before the match, guys. So yeah, I'm absolutely pumped to get into that Wolves game at the King Power Sunday at two o'clock. I'll be there for you guys, and the match day vlog will be coming out straight after. To get ready for that. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy today's transfer review. Make sure you subscribe to see my face on your screen before you know for the freshest necessary content on YouTube. Guys, make sure you subscribe. But yeah, I've been Sportster and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.